Collective, how are you all today? Hope everyone's great and having a good day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for spending time with me. I love you so much. I appreciate you guys. Hope that you'll please like and share and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so that you don't miss anything whenever I upload. Thank you all so much. I love you, Collective. Let's tap in and let's see what we need to know about. We got the Five of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Conflicts that are leaving you feeling defeated. There's arguments, a lot of stress and tension going on. There could be some violence. Four of Pentacles. Karma is happening right now. It's unfolding. Opportunities and finances, giving what's supposed to be received, reciprocity, can be gifts, the universal balance is in your favor, someone has difficulty letting go of something, they're hoarding and saving and holding on too tight to something, it's financial opportunities and financial success, holding on tight to money, being frugal, we have the Ace of Cups and the Lovers. So, new opportunities and positive energies, unconditional love. It's a new relationship or an existing relationship. The Lovers is balance and harmony. Soulmate connections. It's passions. It's a healthy relationship. Self-love. The Ace of Cups and the Lovers both represent love, <clears throat> but there's conflicts and arguments and tension and possible violence. So something that was once good, someone could be, um, we've got the Hierophant on the bottom, someone could be in the courts regarding a breakup, what once was good on a split, we've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant, something going on in the courts karma is unfolding here regarding this relationship what's what once started out as good has ended up really bad in the five of swords energy giving what's supposed to be received in the courts divvying up the assets one of the parties could have a hard time letting go of this money's going to be tighter on in, on both sides in the relationship. On the bottom of the deck, we've got the Ace of Wands. So, the start of something new is coming. Good news. Opportunities coming ahead. Changes are being made. Clarify this Five of Swords. I know I've been distracting you. I wonder if you're enjoying life more without me. You are the most precious thing in my life. So, one of the people in this breakup here, they're not wanting to let go of the other person. And they're fighting. Emotions are all over the place. Freaking out because of the change that's unfolding in, in their life. And especially around finances. Could be trying to rekindle. Clarify this Six, uh, six of Pentacles. I use my work as a way to move on for, from you, and I know we have crossed the line. It was difficult to say goodbye to you, so somebody's definitely going through a breakup right now, they're in a separation. 
clarify this Four of Pentacles. The truth was a bitter pill to swallow. I don't want to be platonic. And being around you is like a breath of fresh air. Holding on tight. We are not suited for each other. Underneath the Ace of Cups here, now is not the time. I hope that someday you will forgive me. <clears throat> so this person doesn't want to be sexual. They don't want to be intimate. They don't want to be with this person. There's a lot of pain and lashing out that's going on right now. On the split, I'm not in the mood with the under the lovers here. I wish for a different result. It's time for us to say goodbye. Under the Hierophant, I am mindful of what I have done in the past. It's unnecessary or it's necessary for us to maintain a distance. Under the Wheel of Fortune, I know I messed up. I'm sorry. Appearances can be deceiving. You were the person closest to me. And on the bottom under the Ace of Wands, I can't seem to forget about you. So they're holding on tight. I have a clear memory of every detail of that day. So playing this event of this breakup all constantly over and over in their head. They're trapped in it. They could be trying to be intimate. Maybe the sex life was part of the issue in this relationship. And now that this person's ready to walk away, they're trying to, to put it on them in order to get them to try to stay and rekindle some kind of a spark in the relationship, but it's not working. Clarify the Five of Swords. Take some time to rest and rejuvenate. You need to pace yourself for the changes that are coming your way. They are all positive, bigger and better things are coming for you. Just relax and trust. And that's the conflicts, feeling defeated with all these arguments, having to surrender, very stressed out, a lot of tension, violence could occur. Take time to rest and to heal. Bigger and better things are coming. I know I've been distracting you. I wonder if you're enjoying life more without me. You are the most precious thing in my life. Healing the pain of having to let this go. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. I use my work as a way to move on from you. I know we've crossed the line. It was difficult to say goodbye to you. Self-awareness is key. Take time today to go within and spend time with your soul. Go for a walk in nature and ground yourself. Meditate. Listen to your favorite music. Whatever you enjoy most, do that today. Do something that makes you feel good as you're going through this healing breakup here. Talk about this Four of Pentacles. Having difficulty letting go. Holding on way too tight. The truth was a bitter pill to swallow. I don't want to be platonic. Being around you is like a breath of fresh air. If it's meant to be, it will be. You won't have to force, convince, or worry over it. Let it flow, let it be, and let it come to you. You are attracting everything you need. Trust in the timing of your life. So don't chase. Attract. You have to let go. 
because sometimes things are just not meant for us anymore and we have to we have to release it the ace of cups we are not suited for each other no now is not the time i hope that someday you will forgive me never allow yourself to be taken for granted it is better to remove yourself from the situation than to be treated less than you deserve you are precious you are worthy under the lovers balance and harmony and love and partnerships and relationships passion loving yourself having a healthy relationship with someone not one-sided not karmic energy not abusive if it's doing that then you don't need to be in it it's not good for you i'm not in the mood i wish for a different result it's time for us to say goodbye let go of the old and make way for the new you may find yourself being distracted by random thoughts fears or doubts don't allow yourself to be governed by them simply observe and choose to take the aligned actions and choices exactly it's time to move forward and to move on to love yourself and heal clarify the hierophant i am mindful of what i've done in the past it's necessary for us to maintain a distance trust yourself more know that you are in the right place at the right time opportunities will present themselves to you when they are meant to all in divine timing get excited about the future again instead of fearing it clarify the wheel of fortune good fortune and change and luck good karma coming in the wheel is turning positive changes are coming i know i messed up appearances can be deceiving you were the closest person to me you trusted this person if you find yourself stuck in a situation you are unhappy with ask yourself why are you still there is it fear of the unknown leaving toxic situations or people can be the best thing you can do for your soul and your spirit be fierce don't stay in something that you know is not serving you under the ace of wands the start of something new new opportunities and changes good news coming in i can't seem to forget about you where you are right now is where you are supposed to be don't compare yourself to others that only adds pressure take each day as it comes and for what it is you are a better person than you were yesterday growth isn't easy but you've got this you've got this what happened in this breakup here spirit we have unconditional love and it came out in reverse with a soulmate here so the love the bond is broken and with the ace of cups that came out we're not suited for each other now is not the time i hope that someday you will forgive me never allow yourself to be taken for granted it is better to remove yourself from the situation than to be treated less than you deserve you are precious and you are worthy So was a karmic lesson here could have been third party situations going on i've got an evie here in my mouth here we go third it's a karmic relationship this breakup is a forever ending here archangel michael is on the scene with protection prevented from harm and divine intervention it was a faded meeting it was an important connection for you to come together with this soulmate here but the time has come for you to part ways and to end the karmic cycle a forever ending archangel michael is protecting you
It's a tragedy. It's a forbidden love. So, can't go back to this. Could have felt closed and trapped in in this relationship. Frustrated in the relationship. There were grave mistakes made. There's no second chances. Because new love is coming in. And this, all that's going on here is worried about the money and how the finances are going to be taken care of. So there's a new soulmate that's coming in that's going to renew your hope. This karmic was all about the finances, money on the mind. Break up forever. This person could have been a strategic player. Archangel Michael's help, whoops, helping you balance out your emotions regarding this relationship here. Could have been married to this person. Could be going through a divorce. Cleansing and removing negativity. Clearing your space. Meditating. Working on your healing journey here. Your inner growth so you can be whole. Under this forbidden love that was a tragedy. So it's been hard to heal. We have Divine Masculine here underneath the lock box feeling closed in and trapped and frustrated under relationship connecting we have moving physical location change could have sold their house or could be selling their house on the bottom of the deck with the ace of wands over here we've got a soulmate everlasting connection that's coming in could be getting on the verge of getting in their car and moving and traveling about to confess that there's someone else coming in. Maybe this person's ready to move on and date after going through this breakup here. What I feel is it was past time to end this karmic relationship. So they've already been healing for a while. It's easier for this person to let go and to move on to something else because they've already felt this way for some time. They felt very closed and trapped in and frustrated. They've removed the negativity of this spiritual union and this soul contract with this karmic soulmate here. It's over. The love is not the same. It's not there anymore. They don't have genuine feelings for this karmic person. They want to be with a new soulmate that Archangel Michael has brought in in a form of divine intervention, which would be the collective energy here, with the divine masculine coming towards a divine feminine getting away from a karmic energy. There's no second chances. And this Divine Masculine here, he's willing, it looks like he's willing to relocate to go wherever he feels happier learning to love themselves and find if you find yourself stuck in a relationship you are unhappy with ask yourself why are you still there is it fear of the unknown leaving toxic situations or people can be the best thing you could do for your soul and your spirit be fierce praying and asking for relief from this emotional pain they've been having to heal and go through from this breakup. This person can be trusted. It could be saying hello to, to 
to someone new here in the collective now that there's permanent endings in this karmic relationship that they were in they're moving on they're never going to go back down that road your ancestors are all over this you're coming out as this high priestess here could be coming towards a high priestess the archangel michael and your ancestors are all over this new union coming forward yeah destruction and bondage on the split with this lockbox here feeling frustrated and trapped in this person's going to be traveling they could have a physical location change that's coming in could have to be careful traveling from the hurricane destruction we got divine masculine here that's going to be traveling could be seeking guidance through divination on what what to do and this divine masculine can be trusted here this person single and sexy and successful they've got a court situation here could be going through a divorce I'm going to be traveling traveling to this high priestess so that they can heal and grow and be okay from not feeling imprisoned anymore and her ancestors we have awakening awakening to the fact that they're getting ready to walk away and leave it all behind this divine masculine is coming out is very abundant on a lightened pathway here this person works hard they have an expectation regarding a reading or guidance that they've received we've got a new divine twin flame or high level soulmate here that's coming towards divine feminine and walking away from a karmic feminine here they're cleansing and working on their chakras coming towards this high priestess they're traveling to a high priestess earth angel here and this this is a earth angel here your ancestors are awakening you to the fact that this is a protected union here that's coming in and whoever they're walking away from they're pissed and they're walking away from this karmic energy to come towards real love and this person's a nice guy walking away from this op from this karmic here in the past and this is a new everlasting soulmate that's coming in it's real love and this divine masculine is a very nice guy but someone in the collective is going to have new love coming in and if you don't want love don't go nuts in my comments that just means that this not that's not for you leave it for who it's for for someone to um, appreciate that is ready for new love to come in please okay The angel of strength and the ace of pentacles with prosperity begins in a spiritual union this is a new divine union that's coming forward right now as they're going through this breakup they're very strong they've got a lot of inner strength here the ace of pentacles it's going to be a very abundant beautiful union archangel metatron is all over this with the third eye here with the sixth chakra and uh tapping into your intuition with the high priestess here 
the three of cups rejoicing in the celebration and full of appreciation for this new beautiful union that's coming in the six of wands victory and success with the two of wands the waiting game planning on when this move is going to occur happiness i'm aware that being happy means that i am on the right path focusing on what makes them happy destiny is unfolding here with the will of fortune that's beautiful going on their beautiful new pathway leaving all of the destruction behind this person makes good money they're abundant they can be trusted this is an earth angel here coming for their fellow earth angel permanent ending to the past will not interfere with the present or the future your ancestors are making sure of it your ancestors are protecting this union And this karmic is going to be pissed when they walk away. That's beautiful. Clarify expectation. And divination and hello is the row. And we got a tarot reader. Could be getting readings on property, wealth, and investment. Their home could be seeking guidance on relocating and moving and what's gonna happen with this move to connect with this new soulmate that's coming, that they're coming towards here to get into a commitment There's that expectation. We got parenthood, but it came out in reverse, so walking away from the family that they have with this person, they're ready. They're ready to bounce. They're ready to move on. Live and you learn. Balancing out this karmic energy here with this relationship. Going to court for the court situation regarding the divorce here Perfect for this divine masculine what's this divine masculine want advice they, they want knowledge and advice on what to do seeking um, seeking advice on how to come towards this pure unconditionally loving beloved sweetheart here who's their eternal love it's their high level soulmate here they could be going through a lot of stress right now as they go through this transition of this family that's going on <clears throat> they could be like 
separated from each other, wanting more privacy. Could be talking online to whoever they're coming towards here in the collective. They're by ancestors. It's the goal. Terrifying ancestors. It's a destination that's unfolding. Regarding your destiny and your purpose here together. Whatever was going on in the past is over. The past is the past. Time to move forward to a new divine union after healing from this breakup here. Robbery came out in reverse. So this person's not a thief and they're right with God. And they've got a brilliant idea here. They feel inspired. We've got a good support network to help them go through the transition. Could be trying to plan and schedule and organize a time to move. Whoever they're leaving is going to be pissed. It could be very unpleasant. Abandonment wounds. Deep-seated anxiety and fear related to being abandoned or rejected by others. So, abandonment wounds need to be addressed and healed. That could be what this Divine Masculine is healing from or whoever they're leaving this karmic partner is dealing with abandonment wounds. Blockage of the throat chakra. Difficulties in communication, expressing thoughts and feelings, emotional symptoms like shyness, fear of speaking, or dishonesty. Scared to speak up about how they feel. Pain from emotional expression inhibition. Difficulty in openly expressing one's feelings or emotions, leading to suppression or to suppression, avoidance, or masking of authentic emotional responses. So scared to speak up, scared to speak their truth, scared to talk about how they really feel, always holding back and suppressing. Now they're seeking advice on, on what to do. Needing to address vulnerability blockages. Challenges in opening up emotionally and authentically expressing vulnerability. This person may have a hard time being vulnerable and a hard time with intimacy. Unresolved grief. Lingering pain and emotional distress related to the loss of a loved one or, sig or a significant life event has occurred. And breakups can feel like ex extremely full of grief. They're painful. An inner peace obstruction. The hindrance or blockage that prevents an individual from expressing a profound sense of tranquility harmony and serenity within themselves often resulting in ongoing inner turmoil restlessness or emotional unrest so it needs to be addressed so that um, can find that inner peace going in and healing those those inner wounds to clear out the obstruction and the blockages 
so that inner peace can can be found and be in a beautiful aligned internal state of your being balancing out and healing the, the, the pain and the trauma Changes are coming. You can't fear change. Change is the only constant. It's going to come whether we want it to or not. So, got to go with the flow. We have Banyan blessings, security, the hermit, expansion, and stability. So, going within, doing that hermit work, doing that inner healing work. It's going to be success. Libra energy. This is a beautiful new level of ascension that's happening here. This person's leveling up and creating a sacred space. They've got profound soul growth that's going on right now, walking away from this karmic energy. They're receiving divination. We have Scorpio energy so that they can create or so they can create this beautiful transition that's occurring cancer energy they're focusing on new beginnings that are coming in this person's very passionate Leo energy and they're working on healing Aries energy this person is very trustworthy. You can trust this person. Scorpio energy. They're working on their psychic development. So trusting their intuition and tapping in to their energy more. We've got death here. A death and a rebirth. Transition. Scorpio energy. We've got the burning man. Collective power. Supreme prayer. The three of cups and celebration. So, beautiful new energy to celebrate coming in. It's getting very grounded so that this energy can be anchored in. Transmute and alchemize pain into power. Virgo energy. There will be victory and success regarding this new union here. Aries energy. It's slow but steady in retreating. So that they can heal. And it's love of self and others here. Or as they regenerate. Love is Libra energy. And regeneration is Aries. Regenerating their energy. Virgo energy. Grounding. Making sure you're staying grounded. Your ancestors are here. Helping you. Family, survival, death, and worship. And so show them gratitude. Gemini energy for helping you through this inner journey here. Release any anger. Let it go. Let it out. Focus on love and affection. Taurus energy. Tapping in with your higher self. Resting and creating your reality. Rhythm. Shamanic drumming could be really good for inner healing journey. Focusing on this new real love.
Having sensible boundaries is important. So having healthy boundaries. Loving yourself, having self-worth, self-respect. If there's a barrier that's keeping this union apart right now, find ways around obstacles to find happiness. Have spirit your spirit is about to be sublimated so that's the inner connection of the two souls uniting as one clarity take a moment to think about your situation to figure it out trust your intuition so healthy boundaries finding ways around the obstacles there could be distance between you Spirit is all over this. You're about to be sublimated and your your energies, your spirits are about to unite and conjoin and combine to a beautiful, high-level, everlasting soulmate connection here that's protected with divine intervention from Archangel Michael here. As you come out of this karmic soulmate energy here you've learned the lessons you're not going to go back and repeat the lessons allow yourself to feel the emotions release the anger don't get in Five of Swords energy and become violent. Walk away. Don't react. Disengage. Respond. Don't react. The angel of stress is here and the angel of knowledge so um, could be seeking guidance to relieve stress whenever we know something it takes a lot of stress away a lot of times if not if you don't know something you're going to worry yourself to death the angel of inner peace so finding out something to help release relieve and release the stress the angel of healing and the angel of inner peace and the angel of good news is here so good things are coming and the angel of strength and she was the first one that came out so inner healing inner peace releasing the stress having peace and harmony and the angel of truth the truth is coming out speaking your truth and the angel of relationships overcoming the pain and the family the angel of families the family's going to be okay the angel of abundance here with this prosperity begins for this new divine union that's coming in the career angel is here so your career is protected the angel of enlightenment it's a whole new level of ascension and enlightenment that's unfolding right now is a beautiful new earth angel union that's coming in and re releasing all of the current past so they can come into a beautifully aligned union here this is so beautiful i'm so excited and then one from the step piece here the huia 
the angel of willpower and new beginnings aries energy the number 47 could be significant motivation ambition a new start aspirations new projects attaining goals i infuse you with creative passion and energy to start and successfully complete new projects the crystal is amazonite it's today's the day and success the angel of mental force and calmness Yilio, Aquarius energy, battles depression, serenity, tech support, reveals lies, stops overthinking, clarity, I fix gaps between mind and emotions and help navigate complex situations and people who play mind games. The gemstone is a pearl, the month is January and it's, they're saying be assertive. Go for what you want and for what's best for you. Do we need anything else? I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. The, my capacity to tune in to the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive, and the power I need when I am lost. I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural. It's exactly right. They happen all the time. There is nothing se sexier than my authentic truth. Well, you got that right. When I am connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. Anything else? Okay. Not being drawn to anything else. Let's roll some dice and we're going to close out. We've got Aries, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Cancer. South Node, South Node twice, so clearing out a lot of karmic South Node energy here. The number six, the number nine, the number five, Mars, and Neptune. Oh, and then number eight. I don't know if I said that. Roll the zodiac. Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Taurus, Pisces, 
Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus. I'll do it one more time. Leo, Aries, Pisces, and Sagittarius. <clears throat> All right, collective. So you guys just take this how it resonates. Um, only take what parts are yours. And if you want new love coming in, this very possibly could be your story here. I hope the best for you guys. I love you, collective. Until next time. Bye.